welcome to Bear's Recipes. Today we are going to be making beef chili. This meal is a major flavor bomb and is great for feeding guests, or in my case, feeding a family of two for an entire week. All the ingredients are listed below, and I have a walkthrough posted on my blog, bearsrecipes.com as well. Let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to start by finely dicing our bell pepper and our onion. Nice. Now it's time to open up and set aside all of our canned goods so they're ready to go into the chili. Now put your pot on the stove top and turn it to medium high, putting in about two tablespoons of olive oil. Keep heating until the olive oil is hot and shimmering. Now it's time to add in the meat. Break up your ground beef as it cooks and continue cooking for about six to eight minutes or until you see gold and crispy brown bits on your ground beef. Time to add our onion and bell pepper. Cook for about two to four minutes or until lightly translucent and mix well throughout the beef mixture. Now we're adding in two tablespoons of tomato paste, our diced green chilies, a can of diced tomatoes with green chilies, gotta get that extra flavor. One can of diced tomatoes, three diced chilies in adobo sauce, one can of black beans that you forgot to film, that part's important, one can of kidney beans, your delightfully presents a batch of spices, sugar, salt, and pepper, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, now we're gonna mix it all together. Make sure you're scraping at the bottom with a wooden spatula so that you don't damage your pan, but also get those crispy bits off the bottom. Now that you've let it all cook together for another five minutes, it's time to add in our beef stock. If you don't have beef stock, vegetable or chicken can work in a pinch. Now it's time to turn down our heat and let things simmer for another 20 to 30 minutes, letting the flavors all really get to know each other. Now that everybody's acquainted, it's time for you to serve your meal. Mmm, -hmm, that looks good. Time to dig in. Hey everyone, Bear here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you can use this recipe to make yourself a lovely meal. If you enjoyed this recipe, it really helps if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. I've also got a food blog with some more mouthwatering recipes you can check out at bearsrecipes.com. If you have suggestions for future recipes you would like to see, or just want to say hi, go ahead and post a comment or send me an email, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks, and see you all for the next recipe video.